Okay, so I just finished filming my steak video. You guys already saw that, right? I've got to find a side dish for that. A lot of you are like, so do you cook like this all the time? Or I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what I do. Right now, I'm just going to, off the top of my head, I'm going to create a dish, just a side dish, and I have no idea what I'm going to use. I'm going to look in the refrigerator. Whatever I got in there, I'm pulling out. It may not go together. It may not be a perfect combo, but I'm going to figure it out. So I got these beautiful steaks. I want some sort of uh, maybe a med, um, uh, vegetable medley or something. I don't know yet. But what I do know is this. I do know I have something to start with because yesterday Tammy came home with beautiful yellow squash from our friend Teresa's garden. That's right. It's a great start. It smells better than the ones in the store. Everything out of your garden smells better than anything in the store. Just the way it is. And I have a whole bunch of these. So I'm going to come up with some. I'm going to use clarified butter again because I told you I would. I'm going to use my cast iron again because I told you I would. Let's see what else I got. Hang on. Pickled red onions? No. No, no pickled red onions. Okay. Come on, Jack. What do you got in here? Go into the drawers. Um, oh, sweet potatoes. Where did those come from? Okay, so I'm making sweet potatoes for dinner too, but I'm not gonna put it in the medley. I'm just taking them out. Oh, what is this? Is this a shallot? Are these onions or shallots? Hold on a minute. Oh, this is garlic. These are huge. Okay, I'm using all of this garlic. That's right. So you wonder how it is normally? This is how it is normally. Hang on. All right, what do I got? Um, I found some zucchini, which is another squash. So it looks like we're gonna do two different types of squash with garlic and I've got some onions, I'm gonna use that. I think that I can put one more thing in. I need something, something creative, something different. Um, no, that ain't gonna work, hang on. Still looking, still looking. What else do I have? No, pickled red onions, no. Sorry, I'm not doing that. This mole poblano sauce was so amazing. It had five different chilies in it. I'm using that. I don't even know why. I have no idea why. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to make a little bit on the side, some mole sauce. This is better than any mole sauce I've ever tried. So I'm going to use it with squash and onions and garlic and clarified butter. There. That's it. Okay, as you can see, I have everything ready to go. Cast iron's going to saute everything. I'm going to make the mole sauce in that. Got all my ingredients, everything spread out. And I've got my clarified butter. I'm popping them out. See this one right here? I'm popping out a few clarified butter. As I need them, I pull them out of the chocolate mold. Oop. Isn't it weird how it melts? Can you see how it's melting? It's melting clear, look at that. It doesn't have that, that milky film because we've removed the milk solids out of it. All right, while the butter is melting, I wanna correct myself. That was a shallot I diced up, not a uh, big garlic. Now that it's clarified butter, I can cook at a higher temperature without burning that butter. Throw the onions in. We're gonna soften this down. Okay, it's about halfway done. So we're gonna throw the shallots in. If you don't know what a shallot is, it's kind of a crossbreed of an onion and garlic. I want to have the sauce, the mole sauce ready, so I'm going to, as soon as I throw the squash in, we're going to move over and start that sauce. Okay, lower the flame a little bit. You caramelize the onions, got the shallots going too. You're going to bring in your squash. You don't want to burn your squash, so lower it down to a little below medium. All right, going to put a little yellow. Little zucchini. I got a medium low flame going, going all the way down to low. When you hear it popping, you know it's a little hot. So back off on it a little bit. Even though your butter can handle it, you wanna make sure you don't, you wanna brown the squash, but you don't wanna burn it. All right, so while that's cooking, let's move over. Okay, so I'm starting with, I'm starting with one cup of water in here. And you can use a cup of water, a cup of beef broth. I don't have beef broth and you put the whole can of this mole sauce in. Put the whole jar in here. That's a lot. Wow. There we go. Smells amazing. 
There's got to be like five or six different chilies in here. Like nothing I've ever smelt before in mole sauce. Get this to dissolve. Well, we got our other hand stirring the vegetables. Yeah, look at it. Doesn't look good, but it's gonna taste great. This is done. That took just a few minutes. Can you see that? All right, time to put in a few spoonfuls and get this all coated. Lower, turn your flame off all the way. Turn your flame, you don't want, you don't want to cook anymore. In fact, I'm gonna take it off, take it off the fire. There's enough heat on the back of the stove to get this all integrated. So I, I decided against the sweet potato because this looked like it was enough of a meal for Tammy and I. But I did bring back the pickled red onions. So I'm going to take my pickled red onions and top my steak with it. I know we have white onions in the, uh, there we go. I know I got white onions, but I want it in there. But these are, these are sweet. These are tangy because of the mole sauce. I put extra mole sauce in case somebody eating the steak might want to dip. All right, I'm not gonna sit here and eat steak again in front of you, but I am gonna try the onions and the squash together. That just looks really delicious. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. The mole sauce. Nice heat. Not hot. It's not spicy. It's just got a lot of flavor. It's like a black, pep black pepper spicy, pretty much. Oh, man. There's a sweetness. It's perfectly coming out of these yellow squash. Amazing. Steak. Check out the Black and Steak video before this and you'll see what that looks like. And I topped it off with the sweet red onions. I'm very impressed. Tammy's gonna like this. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.